All right, so that's a quick little update. I mean, well, be more than that, but okay. Uh, 10 miles, 21 minutes, 237 watt hours per mile. Let's see, my air conditioning's on, but it's 71 degrees outside. So um, that closely matches the 69 I have set for temperature. So since last charge, oh, well, trip reset, they're the same thing. No, okay. Trip reset, 35 miles, 8 kilowatt hours used so far. 235 watt hours per mile. Today must be one of those crazy efficient days. All right, so, um, like I said, I'm at Walmart. So I came up uh, Parma Lane. I remember the one time I was driving Parma Lane, everybody was going 55. I'm like, but the speed limit's 65. And so I was thinking more, I, well, I was thinking more along the lines of uh, people saw a 55 sign, so they slowed down to 55. And I'm going like, but, but, so let me confirm for you. Yes, at Brush, the bridge at Brushy Creek, there's a 65 speed zone sign. Then as you climb up the hill, there's no 65 and at the top of the hill, uh, there's some apartments there, right? So you're climbing up from Brushy Creek Road, I think it is. So it's 65 and then there's no 65 as you crest the hill. So yes, it's 65 there. No reason for 55. Okay, whatever, peace and harmony. Um, I only did a little AP up on, on uh, US-23. I did some AP um, coming in, so I went to the dentist office, right? Um, just a post-op check, make sure that uh, there was a bone graft, just make sure it, 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 uh, it adheres or grows, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I, you know, he probably said, and I probably don't remember it. So we're looking at, in two weeks, another check, another quick check. And then I guess sometime in April, we'll get <laughs> an implant done. Anyway, it, Peace Army, it, it is what it is. Things are going good so far. All right, on we're up for charge. Okay, welcome home. Yes, 21 miles, 32 minutes. Oh, really? And 228 watt hours per mile. Wow. Total trips 55 miles, 13 kilowatt hours, 232 watt hours per mile. That's pretty good. All right. Um, let me let me f figure out how I'm going to show this. I want to show you a video clip, just so you all know what is what's going on. All right. So here's part of a video clip I recorded on my on my uh, car. So here we are. You notice there's a dump truck over there in the middle lane. We're passing him. Light is yellow, turning red. It is red right now. Boom. All right. Anybody know who RRA Corporation is? That's, that's the name on the side. And the stupid thing is, the next light down the street was red. Not not the other side of the underpass or the overpass. The next one down at Discovery Boulevard, whatever it is. That was red. That's where he stopped. Okay. But that's not what really what I'm really telling you guys today. What I'm telling you is that that guy passed a car, a Tesla car. My car. When I saw what he was doing, honked the horn. Okay, I've set it up so if I honk the horn, I take the video clip. So, you know, if if, if somebody asks later, I'm like, okay, yes, I did take the clip. Here it is. I I don't know. That's that's stupid. Okay, passing a Tesla car that can take video, you're just asking for them to take take the video. Now, do most people do that? No. But I uh, just felt like in this case, it probably was needed just in case. I mean, who, what CDL A holder goes straight through a red light? Now, there was a cop previously up, up the back up the street a ways, and further up, there was another cop. There just didn't, didn't have to be a cop right there. 
And if I knew somebody at, at the DPS that I could say, hey, you maybe need to check these guys out, I'd have them do commercial inspections on these trucks. I mean, if that, if that was in my power, I would. That's how you slow down dump truck drivers, commercial drivers. You, you do a, on, on the side of the road, commercial inspection. That's what they did in Mexico. That's what Gary Abbott said. Oh no, we're going to do a commercial driver inspection of every single truck. Okay. In the meantime, the drug dealers are pushing their fentanyl across the border some other way. I'm guessing they have another way to get it done. But you sound big. You sound important. In the meantime, you're slowing down business. Yeah. So, what? GM and Ford both make cars in Mexico. And someday, in the not-too-distant future, Tesla might be doing just exactly the same thing. So, you're hurting commercial enterprises with your total enforcement! Okay. Whatever. He's not. I'm going off on the political side. I apologize. The bottom line and the bottom line point though was with all the recording capability this car has, you're taking a chance passing a Tesla. Now, what's that? If if there's an accident, Tesla can upload that video. Unless of course you destroyed the flash drive, then yeah, it's lost. I don't, I don't know. It wasn't exactly clear how that all worked because I thought there was something about there was a flow of information going up to Tesla all the time. But it sounds like a lot of the time they're going right into the trash can. So they have to know they have to capture it right away. Okay, whatever. I would assume if a car came to a sudden stop, you, you might that might trigger a capture. Who knows? Bottom line answer point though is the recording capability of this car the video recording capability of this car okay um it's just it was such a i saw it was yellow i knew this it was stale yellow i had to stop for a red and he's behind me that truck i passed that truck that truck is behind me there's no excuse on that one Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. Sorry, sorry for uh, lecturing when uh, it's not necessarily needed. Anyway, anyway. Uh, so going back up here. So I did run autopilot around half of 1431 and all of Boggy Ford. Um, on Boggy Ford, when it came up to the uh, split with the uh, Highland Lake Boulevard, for some reason, autopilot decided that he should go left. So he's going to make a left turn instead of going straight on Boggy Ford. Yes, to stay straight on Boggy Ford, you're going to have to curve to the right. That's true. Whereas the Highland Lake Boulevard stop looks a lot more like a straight line. But still. But I know Tesla would say there's not the dashed lines painted to indicate that that's not a the main path. Whatever, peace and harmony. All right, so for all you ice lovers out there, yes, sir, Bob. Let's see, a total trip is 55 miles. Took 13 kilowatt hours. My average energy, not that you would understand it, is 232 watt hours per mile. That basically means, well, if, if you're comparing electric cars, I'm doing better, better than four miles per kilowatt hour um anyway 13 kilowatt hours used translates to one dollar 43 cents so that's still just over half a gallon in, in terms of of um gas so let's see it was 260 it was right around 260 at walmart for regular unleaded. Um, yes, so it's it's a little over, it's a little over half a gallon. Okay. Anyway, whatever. 
there's no way to compare it to this guy running the diesel truck. I mean, what do they get? Eight, ten miles per gallon? There's no way. Plus, he's running diesel. Right? So, no way. But, you, okay, you can pick whatever car you want. There was, there was a Dodge Ram Tough pickup that... I'm, I'm on the inside lane going into Jonestown. I'm I'm going I'm going pretty much at the speed limit. Just a little over, maybe allegedly, but whatever. He so he gets tired of waiting for me to do something. He goes to the right, he starts going by. Okay? As we go up to the hill into the main downtown Jonestown, he's coming up to pass me. All of a sudden, he stop he slows way down. What's that? Oh, there's a Jonestown cop up there. He's waiting at, uh, he's waiting somewhere in the parking lot where he's pointing right at us. So he's waiting to give out the ticket. <laughs> I mean, it's not 100% that Jonestown's patrolling, but when they do patrol, they're patrolling. And they're not really patrolling, they're just set up a speed trap just waiting for you. Okay? So, Mr. White Dodge Ram, like, oh, 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 oh. must have had a heart attack. Whereas I didn't, I didn't blink. I'm, I'm already, I'm already going at a proper speed. Okay. Then we, then we get to the west side of Jonestown. We go up that little hill. Mr. Ram truck comes back. He's going to pass me, and all of a sudden he looks up and sees the barricade for the right lane. Whoops. Uh, yes, that's why they had several signs saying right lane closed ahead. Anyway, whatever, peace and arm. So if you were to pick somebody, pick the Dodge Ram. I don't care what engine you say it has. It, it, there's no way it's going to compete. You know it. I know it. We all know it. Um, so I actually went down to Dennis who's at uh, Spicewood Springs in 23. Uh, yes, that's where my dentist is. Um, that's why it's that's why it's uh, 55 miles. Yeah, the 58 up here is. I did that three mile trip yesterday, just trying not to hear a uh, GoPro eight. <clears throat> okay, whatever. There it is. On the upper charge. As always, I'm just laughing at you guys. Oh, I go fat. No, you can't. Okay. On the other hand, let me let me step back. There was a Mustang Maki. So going into town. Um, there was a Mustang Mach-E and I was coming up on him, um, on 1431 and I come up to a red light accelerate away. You know, when the light turns green, accelerate away. And Mr. mach is actually following me. He's trying, he's like kind of sort of trying to keep up. I mean, I'm sure he has total speed. And when I, I, I stabilize, he is catching sort of back up to me, but we we're going up slow hill. So slow hill, I got like a 320 watt hour per mile over the last five miles average. So that was like, okay, yeah, you're, you're killing me with the slow hill. But Mr. Maki couldn't keep up. Yes. Ask the Maki owner, what does he get? Three and a half miles? Maybe three miles per kilowatt hour? There you go. I mean, if you like Ford, you like Maki, buy it. Just know that you're paying a price for that. Okay, whatever. Peace and army. No, I'm not telling you not to buy a Ford, a Maki. If you really want a Mach E, you should go buy it. I mean, you're paying more, but instead of buying a car that's made in the USA, you can brag about how you bought a car that was made in Mexico. Pretty sure. Check. I think I think the Vent starts with a three. Not that not that I've checked myself, but that's what I've heard is Mach E's are made in Mexico. Not that that's all wrong, but 
there you go. Onward up, upward charge. 